I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your week for general tarot reading this week, Aquarius. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly general tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Aquarius, which cards do and how they do. Uh, because that's how I keep up with y'all, Aquarius, right? Just in the comments as well. Aquarius, I would like to ask if you do find some cards that resonate with you in this reading, uh, to give me a like and subscribe as well, Aquarius, because it does help out my channel a lot. And I was super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way, uh, Aquarius. And then finally, before we get into this reading for you, I just want to remind you that when it comes to my weekly tarot readings, at least, uh, Aquarius, that uh, my readings are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making a choice in your life, Aquarius, because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, right? So with all that in mind, Aquarius, let's just get into your weekly tarot reading. So we're going to start out with your objective card for this week. Uh, Aquarius, so this is the energy that you're going to be in, um, just the overall general energy, and so we have the Ten of Swords for you, Karmic Lessons. So when it comes to Karmic Lessons, this is definitely coming into a place, uh, Aquarius, where you're being challenged in terms of um, perhaps how you handle certain situations, we'll just say that for simplicity's sake. So let's just say, Aquarius, uh, you don't, what's an easy way, you don't like doing confrontation, right? Maybe confrontation just isn't your forte. It isn't a lot of people's, right? Um, it seems to be this week, though, that spirit has something in plan for you or something is occurring in your week um, that kind of challenges you in this way, where it challenges your way or your approach on how you handle confrontation. So even if you don't really like confrontation, you don't really like speaking, you know, and just in that way, seemingly like somehow this week, you're going to be challenged in this way and how you will handle that. So expect, I mean, potentially for some of you Aquarius, is expect some type of confrontation if you haven't already been going through something that's just like challenging you right? This is really just like challenging how you would handle something normally, right? Challenging your norm. Uh, so let's get some clarifiers on this, Aquarius. So your clarifiers for your Ten of Swords is the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, as well as the Ten of Swords. So hmm. this is like if we're just going to go along with the narrative again Aquarius where it's talking about confrontation this is talking kind of about where it's like with this four of pentacles it's laying out some solid boundaries here with this queen of swords here and this ten of swords where it's like you're kind of needing to take uh, protective measures for yourself for your own pentacles and like where it is that you're investing your pentacles into or you know instead of pentacles your energy right so your time energy um money even right aquarius so it's just kind of like adding a lot more um structure into your life this week in some type of capacity so i would say overall good uh, overall energy Aquarius uh, definitely something definitely a week it's not gonna be uh it's not gonna be a smooth sailing week it seems like Aquarius but it's definitely going to be a productive week in terms of like your human development right so take that take that message darling as you will uh, but with this as you're taking that message in Aquarius let's get into this card here the tower card now, I know if you're into tarot in the slightest Aquarius, you're kind of cringing. You're just like, ooh, honey, this is part of the reason why as well. Aquarius, I said, it's not going to be quite the smoothest sailing week for you, but it's a good, like, it's not going to be one of those weeks, I feel like, Aquarius, where it's like you're dealing with a ton of stress and anxiety and it's kind of just for no reason, right? Or it's kind of just like, whatever. I feel like this is stuff that's kind of like... Again, I can say for your betterment, like, it's definitely, it's growing pains, we'll say. It's growing pains. It's not just pointless aches and pains, it's growing pains. <laughs> so let's look at these clarifiers for your tower card. Now, Aquarius. So we have coming in first is your Queen of Cups. And then we have the Seven of Wands for you. 
And then Aquarius, we have the Seven of Pentacles, right? No, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. So definitely, this is what I'm talking about with the growing pains with this Tower card. So Aquarius, for some of you guys, let's just continue on with this narrative of uh, confrontation. Um, you're seemingly learning how to handle some type, some type of situation or handling situations in a better format. Again, if you're, especially if you're going into that uh, Queen of Swords energy, right, Aquarius, where you're adding a lot more structure into your life. Uh, Eight of Pentacles here, Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands here. This is a dynamic, Aquarius, so where it's kind of, um, how do we say this? Like, Maybe before Aquarius, you were always so afraid of confrontation because you anticipated stuff to always just turn out in a bad way or in a in stressful way or you, whatever, right? You maybe think like confrontation just is going to lead to like yelling and screaming. Um, I'm kind of seeing in this dynamic, whatever this confrontation that is, might be happening or, you know, we're going along with the narrative of confrontation, right? Whatever the situation that kind of forces you to look at something that you normally do, um, it's kind of challenging you and you're just like learning to, uh, you know, kind of loosen up your grips and learning to like, uh, it's my, one of my favorite words recently, learning how to not be as, um, cynical right now, Aquarius, uh, you know, the cynical nature that you might be usually having is kind of, uh, fading away, which is something I really like to see. So let's close out this row for you now, Aquarius. I can't help but wonder if, like, it keeps coming up in my head, and it's just only because I did Gemini's reading last. I feel like I called you guys Gemini at one point. I don't think I did, Aquarius, but if I did, I apologize. Um, closing out that re uh, uh, this row, though, is the Fool card. Freedom and optimism. So you're definitely releasing a lot of weight. This is going to seemingly be the theme. It's just like through this growing pain, you're releasing a lot. So... I mean, with this full card, it's a positive thing just because it seems to be all, again, seemingly conducive. You're making space to, like, grow. Uh, you're making more time for your projects, perhaps. Uh, Aquarius, more personal projects. You're doing stuff for you, but it's just going to be a little bit of a hard decision to uh, initially make. But it, you kind of know it's essential for you, it seems, Aquarius, right? Especially with this Eight of Pentacles, you kind of know it. You know that it's something you need to, like, work through. Um, so continuing on with your reading, we have the Six of Wands for you, Aquarius. So the Six of Wands is this public recognition card, a very good card to have. A uh, victory card, it's just an overall card of success, Aquarius. So it's a really good card to have. It's the kind of card you want to see in a reading, especially when you have like that Tower card coming in initially. Um, it lets you know that this is leading, again, towards like... It's like productive chaos, right? It's the, it's the growth pains. It's not pointless because it's like leading into uh, some good stuff, right? It's for the best, for your betterment. And it's not just like one of those things of like, oh, tough love, whatever. Like you can experience it and be like, okay, like you know that you needed to experience it, right? It's not one of those just like cliche forcing yourselves to have like the highest like fake woke vibration, right? I don't feel like it's any of that. I genuinely feel like you are definitely in a mature state right now, mature mental state. So I really like that. So let's look at your clarifiers now, Aquarius, for your Six of Wands, see what's going on here. We have the Three of Swords for you. So this is the pain I was talking about here um, that I've been rambling about for quite a while. Um, we have the Page of Cups coming in. We have the Ace of Wands coming in, okay. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles coming in. So, it makes sense, right? This whole setup makes complete sense for you because this is such a day in it. Like, we talk about this pain, right? You don't get to this victory. You don't get to this, like, whatever that victory looks like to you. Now, again, like, literally, if you look at the card itself, uh, look at the meaning of the card itself, Aquarius, um, it is a card that says public recognition and victory and success, right? So, um, if you don't believe me, just look at the definition of the card, right? Um, but it seems to be essential with this Three of Wands, like, whatever this tower moment is, um, it does seem to be like this situation of where it's just like you're kind of being forced to like whatever like forced to finally address some type of karmic lesson in your life that's been like a you know like a bad habit of yours perhaps that's been a thing for a while uh, you're finally having to uh, address it and kind of uh, cut it out 
Uh, so continuing on with this message for you, Aquarius, we have the, uh, how do we want to, do these, do we want to put all these cards together? I know how we can paint out the storyline. Uh, we start out with this Knight of Wands here, right? This is the card, uh, Aquarius, where I always say it's kind of like going out of your comfort zone, putting out feelers, right? Um, and this is kind of just like that challenge, you know, this is the growing pain card. It's a slow movement, right? It's um, slowest night out of them all. But you're, this is like Page of Cups, Ace of Wands, right? It's kind of just like begrudging or like painfully like trudging through the mud, essentially, right? So it's like the victory is here, but there's still like, it's not just like that easy sailing as I was saying before. Uh, Aquarius it's kind of just like you're like you can see the end goal Aquarius you know the end goal but it's not like you have to trudge through them trudge y'all like how I keep on doing this uh trudge through the mud a little bit Aquarius there's definitely some stuff that you kind of have to you're gonna have to be a little bit uncomfortable for right it's what the three swords uh, you know uh so let's close out this row uh for you Aquarius let's see what final card we have Seven of Cups. So speculation, opportunity, this is a choice and decision, very indecisive um, at this time, uh, Aquarius, but I don't feel as if, I feel like the indecisiveness just comes in on like you kind of like deciding whether or not or weighing things out for yourself, Aquarius, on if you want to deal with something, right? It's just like kind of being that choice of being like, I know I have to go talk to my boss on something, but do you really want to have this, that conversation, right, with them, right? It's kind of having that conversation that you know is, is necessary, but you don't really want to have. Um, it seems like you, I mean, you know how I feel, Aquarius. You kind of need to just do it, right? So let's get into now your Nine of Cups. This is your happiness. This is you feeling personally fulfilled, your own personal happiness through all this uh, mud that you've been like trudging through. This is like your own personal accomplishment. So let's look at these clarifiers that we have for you, Aquarius. We have for your Nine of Cups, Aquarius, we have your Two of Pentacles. We have your Eight of Pentacles coming in following you. Six of Cups. This is a card that's following you because it's your last card. Um, spoiler alert, that we'll get into later. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, and we already said Two of Pentacles. So, Aquarius. Two of Pentacles lets me know it's something that, like... You know, you need to like make a choice on something. Your plate's too full, essentially, right? This is the card of your plate being too full. And because your plate's too full, Aquarius, your life ends up being a little bit more chaotic, right? So in order to obtain this happiness, right, um, in terms of uh, for your betterment, it seems to be like you need to clean up your plate. And it seems to like this is like seemingly like the lesson for you. It's just like you always constantly seemingly Aquarius overfill your plate, um, and that seems to be like messing with your stability, right? King of Pentacles coming in here. And this is kind of seemingly like a bad habit of yours for a while now, Aquarius. With the Six of Pentacles, this lets me know uh, this, this is deep-rooted. This has been a deep-rooted issue, a deep-rooted uh, habit that you've been uh, managing for quite some time now so it's kind of like one of those questions aquarius of when it's like when are you going to make the uh decision to uh uh make those hard decisions essentially for your happiness you see you can you may be good at making decisions for your happiness aquarius but you may may not be very good at making the hard decisions for your happiness so something to take a look at let's close out this row though uh with a final card what is this the sun or no the world card that's the cycle right the world card is the cycle card breaking out of cycles and starting a new chapter uh aquarius yeah you're just this is a week you need to buckle up honey you're going to be really challenged on uh your comfort zone you're definitely going to be pushed out of your comfort zone to the maximum right and it can be very valuable for you really give you a lot of growth if you allow it to right 
I see you doing it. I see you toughing it out just for a little bit longer, Aquarius. I know some of you guys have been going through a little bit of a struggle, but if you just work through that, through your sword's pain, you know, just work through it a little bit longer. Um, things are going to lighten up a lot more for you pretty soon, I feel. So now let's get some clarifiers for the Six of Cups here that I was talking about before. So this is a situation of kind of like a... Um, in this dynamic, this is kind of like an offer, like some type of offer being made to you. So we'll keep that in mind with your clarifiers, Aquarius. So we have the world card following you again. This seems to be like the new chapter that you're going into, right? You talk about that old world card that we had from before, closing up that new, so like, right? Just like a book. When you end chapter one, honey, you go to chapter two, all right? And chapter two is looking pretty awesome for you, the magician card as well as the moon card so, yeah the, the, your chapter two darling <laughs> aquarius is extremely good um so it lets me know with the six of cups this offer being made i don't know what it looks like for you right um i would dare i say challenge it with the six of wands with that victory card and that public recognition as well um so aquarius uh how would i say i kind of want to look at this moon card just a little bit more though uh this card came out eight of wands so this is a card a perfect card for you i feel like it actually makes a lot of sense aquarius because this is the card of where i always say in this deck you can't i mean in most of the tarot decks rather uh, i was about to say most of the tarot decks there's usually a hand here but it's not a there's no hand here so i guess it just made me a liar but usually there's a hand here aquarius <laughs> heck it's my newest deck so i I'm like so aggravated about that. Anyways, you normally there's a hand here that's kind of like open, open-ish, kind of like this. So you can't kind of you can't tell if they're grabbing at a wand or not, darling. They, long story short, and I don't know why I keep on calling y'all darling. Um, so it's kind of with this thing of just like grabbing up at things and just feeling things out. You kind of have like with this moon card, you kind of just have to like feel things out, see what sticks, you know. Keep on throwing things and see what sticks. And once you find the thing that sticks, that's what you lean into more, right? Especially with this magician card coming in here. Um, this is the master of your own reality, right? This is you in your ultimate creation mode, Aquarius. So you really want to lean into this energy. And somehow, some type of offer gets made to you. So through you trying to just like put feelers, like seeing what sticks. So I really like that. Let's close out this row before we get uh, close out your reading. Uh, Aquarius. So three clarifiers came out. We have the three of rings, uh, no, five of rings. We have the lover's card, and then we have the spear of rings. So there is definitely this insecurity, Aquarius, of if you make the right moves. Um, definitely, like, kind of, there is, like, seemingly just focusing in on some type of, like, anxiety or some type of fear in terms of either whether it's like a person or how someone's going to react to something um, or how a situation is going to pan out. And it seems to be, if it is a situation, seemingly more so like financially for you, if it's going to pay out, if it's not about a person, if it is about a person, I do feel like there's just like this level of insecurity or level of just anxiety about um, just like where you're at with somebody. Um I keep on hearing like hard feelings or whatever, but we'll just close out this reading now, Aquarius. I do feel inclined, actually. Let's give you some moon oracle cards. Let's give you a moon oracle card before we close out your reading, for sure, for sure. And actually, the card already wanted to just come out. Uh, disseminating moon for you, Aquarius. Take time to breathe out. So, yeah, I feel like this is a perfect card for you, especially during this time, right? You need to have like those moments of just like have those tough love conversations with yourself and reminding yourself it's like you're putting through you're putting yourself through a bunch of stress because it's for your betterment right take some time to breathe out it's going to be a pretty bumpy road for you this week aquarius but definitely you're going to like the end result of it and i think you kind of know it as well too so 
Yeah, Aquarius, thank you so much for allowing me to do this tarot reading for you this week. If you enjoyed this weekly reading, uh, Aquarius, be sure to give me a like and subscribe. Be sure to give this video a comment uh, below of which cards resonates with you and how they do, Aquarius. Um, and then also, I do the weekly zodiac readings for all the zodiac signs, Aquarius. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, Aquarius, I would really appreciate if you were to send them their zodiac reading. Uh, maybe they can find a card that resonates with them. So until next time, my beautiful Aquarius, I'll see you later.